All right, y'all review for Real Housewives of Potomac. Since this is a brand new season, y'all know I'm not finna say and go blow for blow. I'm y'all. This might be an ultra super motherfucking quickie. I don't know. But Giselle, she ain't really giving me shit, so I got shit for her. Katie, Katie, she loves white boys and Jewish boys. Well, I'm Jewish. That's all I'm gonna say. But um, you know, she's dating a guy named Andrew. He won't slow and steady when she talked about merge. All I'm gonna say is this, okay. Uh, she might want to send him for the timeline on that shit, because uh, if he ain't willing to jump, she might need to jump ship, okay? Robin, uh, you know, she and Giselle are friends. They both, you know, light-skinned black girls with green eyes and shit. Giselle lives with her ex, uh, so they're living together, co-parenting, but they ain't together. Hey, whatever the fuck works for them, I, that, that's all I can say, whatever the fuck works for them. And my whole thing is this shit, if, if, if he fucking around, let him fuck around. Just make sure that it's understood that if you're going to fuck around, you don't, like I said, don't bring the shit to the motherfucking doorstep. That's it. So Real simple shit. Hell, she need to go ahead and get her motherfucking pussy bust wide the fuck over. I'm just saying shit. Time away for no motherfucking body. I know I want to talk because I ain't had since 15 years, but this shit ain't about me. I'm just talking about them, okay? Okay. They not really giving me a whole lot. I'm starting to get a little bird, but I'm gonna still keep watching. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck did just is Giselle gonna have on her head later on this motherfucking episode. I don't understand. Like that shit look like a motherfucking dusty ass, dirty ass motherfucking broom. She she need not wear that shit no more. Seriously, no. But uh, who we talking about right now? So we meet Curran, and uh, Curran reminds me of uh, Lanithia. And uh, Gregory, that's that's uh, who they remind me of and everything. And, you know, I guess with Karen, you know, everything is best. You know, she did it better than everybody else. That's Kern. Um, she oh, she goes and has uh, tea with Giselle. And even mentioned that she helped get her uh, reacclimated to uh, Potomac. So, yeah, that's that. But it seems like they finna have an interesting blow up in a moment. So, uh, yeah, we'll see when we come back. Okay, but before I even get to sh get into uh, Shanice, I've been sitting on this for a minute. Robin, y'all, y'all let me know if I'm crazy, but she gives me, you know, like a mixture between uh, who uh, who the fuck is Gloria's Gloria Gavon, her, her sister, is it Laura? She gives me a mix between Laura and Carrie Hill. So y'all let me know if I'm crazy, but that's what the fuck I think. Now we meet Sharice and uh, you know, she and uh, Karen are good friends. They weren't good friends at the beginning, but they're good friends now. She do a little birthday party for Karen and shit. And they're um, you know, Curran gets there and uh Giselle is was is still sitting in the centermost uh spot. And of course, you know, they should have uh well she should have moved and given it to the birthday girl. So I guess that's what we're going to hear them talk about a little later on in the episode. Like I said, they're not really giving us any drama, but it is what it is. We're going to watch it. You know, Sharice and, um, uh, what the girl name is? Uh, uh, is it Karen? Yeah, Kurt. You know, they, like I said, they, they the old hags. And it's a good chance if Potomac come back for a second season, it's a good chance they're probably going to either remo they'll remove them and replace them with somebody else unless they bring, like, the drama. I'm, I'm just saying that's what I... That's what I think. I could be wrong. And, um, yeah, uh, Sharice, her husband, is um, uh, a coach in New Jersey. And, you know, they have a long-distance relationship and whatnot. And, you know, um, Giselle want to be all up in the Kool-Aid and know how the motherfucking marriage shit work. And she was like, okay, well, she not as happy as she need to be. And all I'm going to say is this, on some real shit, I, I'm still trying to figure out who I think is the most sexy one out of the three youngest. I haven't quite figured it out yet. But... She need to be worrying about the dick she ain't got instead of worrying about, you know, uh, Karen's, you know, uh, long distance dick. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So Giselle is over Cherie's house to help her uh, with the crowd bull because she can't cut, she can't clean, she can't do shit. Apparently she brings a friend. Now, I felt Sharice on this. You, you don't bring your ass over with a plus one and you ain't tell me you was bringing a plus one. Okay. Uh, cause I was some real shit. I be, I be tend to be like, oh, okay, yeah, you can come in. Your friend just go back to wherever the fuck he came from. I'm, I'm sorry, like that's just me. Call him, call him, call me rude, but you rude for coming without letting me know that you're bringing some motherfucking body. I'm just saying. Um, like I said, I mean, but I enjoyed the kitchen scene. It was nice. It was fun. It was upbeat and all that shit. It was fun. I enjoyed it, but you know, uh, sure. Is it Sharice? I think that's her name, right? Yeah, Sharice then left them in the kitchen like they to help. Well, I mean, you yeah. A mother only gonna treat you the way you let them treat you now, but 
Left them there like they the motherfucking help, and um, you know they down there loud, banging and on shit, going through shit. Now I'm, I'm I can't. I, I'll be the main motherfucker. Just like uh, no, no. But it is what it is. Moving on. Hydration. Y'all, I don't know how the fuck to feel about workout in New York. I feel y'all know I'm team Joe. I feel like Joe finna disappoint me. Like I said, I I, I told you I eh, with Noah, but I oh, damn it, Joe. I, I don't want to have to read on Joe. I don't want to read Joe. But anyway, Giselle is welcoming all of uh Sharice's guests. I wouldn't have fucking did it. Fuck the bullshit. Giselle and Karen talk. Her and is and she wants to talk about the event, the birthday thing, and again. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with reality. Like, reality television is like, you want to address issues at somebody else's event or fucking in public. Why do we do those things? Why? And then she decides to give her a, um, uh, a, uh, frame that says, you know, pretty much the etiquette of attending somebody, a birthday party, some shit like that. All, I mean, here's the on some real shit. <laughs> ah. uh, Giselle handled that shit a hell of a lot better than I did because I would have smooth. Y'all real a rude motherfucker. Okay, you you not finna see you you not finna sit here trying to clock me like that. Okay, and his cameras around. You done lost your motherfucking mind. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, see, I've already told y'all what I need to tell y'all about it. I will say, I will say. Um, damn it, y'all real. I, I, fuck. Hate when I lose my train of thought. Fuck. Oh, um, I wasn't here for a lot of what Giselle did on the show. But what I will say, I was so here for how the fuck she played uh, Curran. Okay. Because when you can get somebody that upset, well, they ass walk the fuck away because they ain't got shit else. To, come on. Come on through, bitch. Come on. I will say I did not like how they presented themselves. And you can tell this shit is organic because they showing everybody looking. They showing everybody look at this. Ain't that this ain't no Mona Sky Young production where you all this shit going on and people ignore all of this or this. That real shit. Is that real shit? Okay. All right. We gonna see if I watch the whole motherfucking thing. We gonna see y'all. We we gonna see y'all know what do. Ray, come scrap shit. I'm gonna see y'all ass for workout. New York. Holla back. Peace.